So I've been using ST for quite a while right now, and before I switch over to a new terminal, because that's what I'm going to be doing fairly soon, I wanted to do a video on why I like ST, and I guess, why I've been running it for so long. Now, being a suckless utility, it does have its fair share of problems. Depending on who you are, they might be problems, they might be features. I guess it really depends on how you look at it. For me, some of them are kind of problems though. So first up, I want to start with the bad stuff, and then we're going to get into the good stuff. So firstly, it is missing a lot of features. Now, a lot of these features you're not going to be using, but it is missing a lot of basic terminal features that a lot of other terminals will just come packaged with, like scroll back and things like that. So it also doesn't support ligatures. Now, I don't use ligatures. If you don't know, ligatures are basically... Take, for example, doing... Uh, equal to or less than within a language like Java. So the way you would do that is equals and the less than sign. Now with a ligature, this will basically combine this into like one big character and treat it as one special character. So it looks a bit more like the mathematical notation. Now I've been working without ligatures for so long that I don't really like ligatures, but some people do find them pretty much essential to actually programming. I haven't found a patch to actually add this support, but if you did find a patch, then you could add it. By default, and with the patches that are available on the Suckless website, there doesn't seem to be a way to do it though. It also doesn't properly interpret mouse characters, so what I mean by this, I'll just show you. So, a lot of other terminals, when you scroll, what it will do is it'll actually hide out the characters that come up when you scroll. Now, it's not doing it now because I've got I'm Wheel running, but if we kill I'm Wheel, I'll show you what I mean. So, we kill that. And if we start trying to scroll, it'll actually interpret my scroll characters on the terminal. A lot of other terminals, as I was saying, will actually ignore these characters. ST will try to print them out, which is really annoying when you're working with a trackpad. So if you accidentally hit the trackpad when you're on your terminal, you just get all of this junk. So that's a little bit annoying. It's not a big deal really, but it is, it's just something to keep in mind when you are working with ST. It also doesn't have proper image support. Now, this may or may not be a problem, but if you're using something like Ranger, then you're probably going to want image support. It does support image previews with Uberzog, but W3M previews are far more likely to be shown in applications. I believe both are supported within Ranger. Yeah, they would be, because that's how people like DistroTube and uh, Luke were doing image previews within Ranger when they were on ST. So you can do Uberzog previews. As I was saying, Uberzog isn't supported as widely. Generally, if something is going to have image previews and it only has one, it's probably going to be W3M. So just keep that in mind when you are working with ST. And also, being a suckless utility, you do have to keep in mind the documentation is terrible at best and completely missing at worst. So just keep that in mind when you are working with ST. But if you just download someone's complete fork of ST, it's not really a problem. It only becomes a problem when you actually want to start modifying it. So that should be enough complaining about the bad stuff. Now, what about the good stuff that have actually kept me using ST for so long? So I was saying earlier that it misses a lot of the basic features that a lot of terminals have. The reason that's not exactly a problem, depending on how you look at it, is because a lot of the basic features you actually can re-add back in. So scroll back for one, you can add back. Backup fonts, which you really need, because there's a bit of a bug with the version of XFT that ST interacts with, which causes it to crash when it comes across emojis. So backup fonts are pretty much essential in that regard. And the last thing that I've added, this isn't a patch that you can download anywhere, but I've added the ability to map keys to commands. So in terminals like say your XVT, you could press a key binding to clear the terminal. ST doesn't have this option, but I've written a bit of code to make it so I can do this. It's a bit of a hack but it does work. So basically it'll let me do something like map, I don't know, control L to clear or control H to history. Or another one I've got is control slash to plus plus, which is just doing something within Vim. So that is nice that you can add all those features back and it doesn't come with all of the extra features that you're not gonna use. Like for example, Kitty has image previews built into it when there are other image preview methods that are probably just as good. It doesn't really add any benefit, in my opinion, to have image previews built into Kitty. Now, on the other hand, if you do care about features like that, the nice thing about working with a suckless utility is that you can add any functionality that you want to it. So, because you just install it by using a make file rather than installing it with your package manager, the nice thing about that is that you have access to the source code right in front of you. So you can just modify it however you want to. And this is kind of assumed that that's how you're gonna be working with ST. Same with all of the other suckless utilities but we're gonna be focusing on ST today. So for example, if you did wanna add image previews 
built into ST. You can do that if you really want to. If you want to make ST a tiling terminal, if you want to do any of this weird stuff, you can do that in ST if you want to put the effort in. The problem is that the program is written in C. Now this does come with the benefit of it being really fast, but it also makes it really difficult to modify unless you have really in-depth knowledge of C. I can do basic things because I have like a little bit of an understanding of C, but anything a bit more complicated than outputting text to the terminal is a bit outside my wheelhouse. I probably could learn how to do it if I really wanted to, and I wanted to add some behavior like that to it. But if you do have that C knowledge, then you can do whatever you want to ST. Assuming that you can work out how the code base actually works, because it is really poorly documented. And some of the functions also just aren't really named in sensible ways, so it gets a little bit difficult to work out what some functions actually do. So the way you've got to work that out is to kind of just trace stuff back and try to work out how it works. This goes back to the fact that ST is just really poorly documented. So the other nice thing about ST is that it is really fast. So it opens up really fast, it runs stuff really fast, and generally it's just a really fast terminal. Now for opening, I've noticed that it is about as quick as something like URXVT. I believe if we test them right now actually, I believe they actually have roughly the same load times on my system. So let's try that. Time ST, so 0 0.07 and time URXVT. So yeah, they are pretty much exactly the same. It looks like it's slightly quicker to open up URXVT. The problem with URXVT though is it has, it has a lot of its own problems. Like for example, it doesn't have true color support. Its font rendering is a little bit funky and I just, don't really like URXVT as a terminal. I will get back to the font rendering in just a moment, but before we get to that, the reason ST is so fast is because all of the configuration files are actually compiled into ST. Now, I think this is a really cool thing. It does become a bit of a problem from time to time though, because with something like URXVT, you can just modify a config file and then you can just change what the terminal is doing, but this just isn't possible within ST. It is kind of possible with some of the patches you can download, so I believe there's a patch for X resources support. And I guess you could probably take the idea of that patch and then I guess expand it out to the other things you can configure. But if you start doing that, it kind of defeats the purpose of using ST. I think it'll kind of slow it down if you do try to do that, but I guess you probably could try to use that. I'm not sure how much of a uh, performance impact the X resources patch has, but I assume that trying to do that to all of the things you can configure will probably have a noticeable impact at that point. Now, what about this point I said about font rendering? So something I've noticed with ST is the fact that it kind of has the best, if not close to the best font rendering I've ever seen for a terminal. And the reason that it has this, and it's not like other terminals can't do this, but the reason why it has this is because it actually anti-aliases the fonts. So if we look at something like Kitty, for example, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the recording, but you'll notice if you look closely, the fonts don't look as crisp. Now the reason for this is because Kitty doesn't actually anti-alias its fonts. I'm not really sure why. I think it's because it's just such a massive terminal already that implementing this feature is probably gonna slow down the terminal even more. ST doesn't have this problem though and neither does the new terminal that I'm gonna be switching to. So because of this, the fonts just look so much better. I know that people who use Kitty probably don't even notice that this is a problem. But once you get used to anti-aliased fonts, it's very, very difficult to go back to a terminal that doesn't have them because the fonts just don't look anywhere near as good. Now, even though ST has the best looking font rendering, it does have its own sort of problems. So I did mention the font two patch before, and that's because if you don't have that installed and you don't have a font like Symbola installed, what's gonna happen is that ST is probably gonna crash. I know there are fixes for this, but on my system it will crash. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was true color support. Now, if you don't know true color support, effectively what that is, is proper color rendering on your terminal. So older terminals, they'll be limited to either a 16 color palette or a 256 color palette. Now, what a true color terminal will let you do is use the entire color palette that your computer will actually support. So you can just use hex colors, RGB values, things like that. So you're not limited to this very small color palette. And the benefit of this is that you can just have better looking stuff in your terminal. With a terminal that doesn't support true color, you're not gonna be able to do proper image rendering for one thing. You're also gonna have problems with just getting themes looking properly. So if you download a theme for say Vim, 
and you try to run that on a terminal that doesn't have true color support, it's probably gonna look a little bit different to the one that you actually download. And depending on how good the support is for a lower color terminal, it might not look good at all. So for example, with the Vim theme I'm running, if we just have a quick look at that, if I was to have a look at this Vim theme within a, uh, what are we gonna use, ZSHRC, that'll work. If I was to look at this Vim theme in something that didn't have true color support, it's either gonna completely break or the colors aren't gonna look exactly right. Whereas if I run it with a terminal that does support true colors, this theme looks like it comes straight out of VS Code. And that's one of the things I really like. Now, I could go back to a terminal that doesn't have true color support. And if I use my TTY, yeah, that doesn't have true color support. But if I can use it, then I'm absolutely going to because it just makes my terminal look a little bit better. And if this was a few months ago, I would have said that running something like ST is a good way to flex on people. But you know what? ST really isn't software for advanced users. One, it's just poorly documented. And two, you can just download a complete fork and not touch the code base whatsoever. All you have to do is just install it and then you'll be good to go. So if you never want to add any extra features to ST, it's not a terminal for advanced users. It's just a terminal that if you want to modify, you have to modify C code that is terribly documented, which I wouldn't say is for advanced users. I would just say it's just a weirdly designed terminal. So I think that's pretty much everything I want to talk about in this video. So if you like this video, then remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help be really appreciated. Down below, I've got my social links, my support links, and also my alternate video platform. So feel free to check those out if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube. So you might notice once again that it's dark outside, but I've modified my lighting and also my uh, webcam settings, so hopefully the colors don't look as awful as last time. I think they look a little bit better this time. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what it looks like in post, but I reckon I've got it looking usable. I wouldn't say good. I would say usable at this point. I'm probably going to modify it a bit more, see if I can get it looking actually good. But if I do need to record at night, I think it's workable like this now. So... Yeah, let me know down below if you think the colors are garbage and if you've got any suggestions for what I should do. But I reckon that's pretty much everything I want to talk about in this video, so... I'm out.